was born in Soweto, Mufulo, 1979. I grew up at Mufulo, exposed to art because we had an art center. We also had like a cinema, so that already influenced me as a, as a young man to be part of the arts or the art scene in, in Soweto. As a young man, I used to grow up making sculptures, Ubumba, you know, from the river, creating cows and, and just doing all sort of creative things like about us assigning as a schooling. And then that love for art just grew within me. Up until I was exposed to an art institution, which was Funda Center. Funda Center is here at the proof, which is Soweto, where now I started growing really seriously. It was like now I'm I'm becoming an artist. I could see now I can make shades. I can paint what I like, I can create my own style. And then every weekend we'll be exposed to the concert, to the art scenes, everything that I was exposed to created this guy who is sense art today. I remember a question when I was offered the scholarship to go and study in Switzerland. The question was, with all that knowledge, man, what are you gonna do with it? That was an inspiration for me to come back and look at AU2 and say, you know what? I need to invite a couple of artists that I used to, I used to study with. Can you now go to AU2, revamp AU2, buy some funds. You don't need money from AU2. And then just start building around um, a creative hub, you know? We started painting around AU2 and then worked with Soweto Tourism to guide us how to create a route so that tourists can come. And, and then curate the space and also not only AA2 but the surrounding of AA2 where we painted everywhere and then started creating a Castellani Street Art Festival and then I think that we, we documented it and then when the developers came they just realized okay these are the artists that's been you know working with the AA2. Imagine when the elephants are fighting, the ants are destroyed, you know. So that spiritually and also a place that I grew up seeing, doing wonders, uh, deteriorating use as, as, as crime space and drug space, it sort of killed my spirit because I know how much it meant to me as a kid or as a young adult and how grateful our community was because it also brought business to the neighbors. There's so much when you just look around, you know, and then there's clubs that can help you if you, you have problems, they are feeding schemes. They, there's so much that people need to look into. So we, we grew up in that environment where we, we knew and our parents taught us that you just look around, you'll find what you're looking for. And then we looked around and we found our potential. 